What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a very very specific type of video. Um, as we are halfway through the current month of Forza Horizon 5's latest update, update 31, I thought I'd hop on here and make a video and do my predictions for what is going to be coming in to update 32 of the next festival playlist on Forza Horizon 5. I'm not expecting this video to get as many views as some of the other videos that I do due to Forza Horizon 5 being a very specific player base, but I will link the video in up at the top of the screen to the top 10 things that I wish should come to Forza, Ga Forza Games and that should be improved in Forza Games up at the top of the screen there and in the description down below as well as my Euro 2024 predictions video which I'll also link in the description down below. And also before we get into the video we have just hit 81 subscribers and so that means we are 19 away from hitting my goal of the year which is 100 subscribers so please click the subscribe button it's completely for free even if you subscribe you don't have to watch all the videos that I post um, it's just it just helps me um, get to the goals that I want to get to and it shows that you support the channel. Anyway, let's get into this video. So this next update for Forza Horizon 5, it will be update 32 and it is going to consist of the event is called Horizon Race Off. And early predictions and early comments on YouTube pages, Twitch channels have all said that for, uh, the Forza developers potentially could be bringing more race car elements into the game. So bringing more track focused like race cars into the game. However, I'm going to go through my thoughts on this event itself. So if you go on to the very end of the menu screen uh, on to upcoming events, it will say it says Horizon Race Off event, uh, new community challenges, new cars, new collectibles. So the Horizon Race Off event format, I'm guessing it will be some kind of one versus one event, either an, a new online race mode where you go head to head 1v1 against online creators and maybe they will inter entwine some pink slip battles into it maybe where the car that you select if you win the race you gain the other person's car at, or and if you lose you lose that car um, and it brings a bit more risk into it but also if it isn't an online feature um, it might be some new race routes around the map um, with these 1v1s against driver tars and you gain credits and potential new uh, accolades and stuff towards your progress throughout the game. So the new community challenges themselves, these will most likely be uh, custom race routes that people have created through uh, the event lab that, and I hopefully reckon they will add more of those as community challenges um, in this new update. Um, and it could also mean, uh, as I said before, some new race routes for the map, uh, some new speed traps and new speed zones, um, but also potentially um, uh, new alongside the the new collectibles um, that could be new accolades, some smashable objects around the map, and maybe some clothes for characters as well. Maybe getting some update fittings for your driver tars as well. Now we get on to the more exciting bit where I tell you guys my predictions for the cars that I think are going to be coming to the update um, it, on the 29th, on the 28th of March, excuse me. I think there will be eight cars coming to Forza Horizon 5 next month. And as the theme has been for, for, for the for the most recent updates there has always been a dlc car pack that has come with the um the update the uh, it, as for me i live in england um they cost three pound 99 for those of you who live in the uk if they live in the if you live in america i think it's something like five dollars um and i don't know what else uh, what other uh, what the prices in your in any of your other currencies um 
you'll have to let me know. So I think four of these cars will be unlockable through the festival playlist. So the spring, summer, autumn and winter, you get 20 points and you'll get these cars. And the other four, as I say, will be DLC cars. So the first three cars that I have on this list are cars that have been leaked already. And the first car, and you can, all guys can Google these because due to my editing skills, I can't put a picture of it on the, on the screen. But the, 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 the three festival players confirmed cars is the Lamborghini Revoluto, which was the replacement for the Huracan back in 2022. Uh, the Honda Civic Type R has been in the game files for a while, but just hasn't been updated. The newest, ver the older version is in the game, but the newest version is still yet to be released. And the Audi RS Q8, which is a big off-roady SUV car that, that was built to rival the Lamborghini Urus. But then the rest of these cars are all my predictions. So the final car that will be in the festival players, I don't think we have it in the game yet. I think we have the drift powered version of it, but I don't think we have the road version. Um, I reckon the, the, the fourth and final festival players car will be the Ford Mustang Mark E. Uh, we, as I said before, we have the drift version in Fords already. However, the normal road going version we haven't got in the game yet so it will be exciting to see if that gets added into the game. And then for the DLC cars um, which you'll have to pay for I reckon they will do an, an actual like proper like racing uh, race car DLC pack for this uh, update. So I've put some racing uh, some racing type cars that, that exist in the game and have also been in previous Forza games. So starting off with the Volkswagen IDR, which some of you guys might remember from Forza Horizon 4. It is an extremely powerful all electric uh, hill climb car and it blitzed the Goodwood hill climb record a couple years ago before that Gordon Murray automotive car went and beat it um, last year. The other car that, um, that I reckon will be added into the game, like the Ferrari 488 GT3 car um, that was added into the game a couple of months ago, the BMW M8 GTE, BMW's GT3 car of the brand new 8 series, I think that would be an, an exciting addition to the game. Um, and then another interesting Lamborghini that they could potentially add is the Lamborghini Storato, which was that Dakar style off-road Lamborghini Huracan that they made specifically for the Dakar rally. Uh, it's actually done surprisingly well in those types of events that they've entered it in. And I think that would be an exciting thing to add. Potentially, maybe they won't add it into the festival players in Horizon Mexico. They could, they could potentially add it as a thing that you'd have to unlock through the rally expansion. Um, of the rally expedition and then the final car which I've actually never driven in a Forza game before it has been in previous games but I've never had the um, the privilege of driving it which is the Mazda Furi now I understand that car has has had some licensing problems in the past but it would be really really cool to get that Mazda Furi in the game and if you guys go and Google it after this video, what the Mazda Fury looks like, it looks unbelievable. And finally, a honourable mention that they could also add into the game, which I forgot to put on this list, is the brand new Bugatti Belide, the Batmobile of the Bugattis. I also think that would be an excellent addition to the game. But yeah, that is all, all for my predictions for update 32 of Forza Horizon 5 Race Off. Let me know in the comments down below what cars you think are going to come into the game and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.